It's time for Cameron to go to nursery. Nursery good? Like nursery? You used to um, nursery, didn't you? You said he used to. What's going on there? He's been asked to leave. So... I've got three and a half weeks <laughs> to find him a new nursery. Where are you going? Cameron may be on borrowed time at nursery, but for now, it's business as usual. Don't run too far, Cameron. With Chris off to work, it's down to her to get him safely dispatched. He'll run, this is the bit that I'm worried about, just around the bottom, it heads straight onto the main road. A lot of times he'll run straight down. Cameron! Can you wait? No, Cameron. Wait there. No, it's not again. Stop now. Cameron! Nikki! Nikki! Stop! Stop! <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Right now, are you in control or not? Because look where your child is. No, I'm not. <sighs> Right, then leave the buggy here and uh -huh. deal with him at the moment because he's on the other side of this fence. The car turns around there, it's going to get you, darling. Come here. Well, go back around there for me. Nikki is trying hard to keep Cameron under control, but restraining him is a losing battle. <laughs> All right, I've let you go. Stand up then. No. You're a liar, Cameron. Don't kick me. No, no, no. Yes, because I'm trying to pick you up. Now stand up. Cameron, for goodness sake! <laughs> Get up, for goodness sake! No! I hurt the way! You're hurting me! Will you get up? No, you win again! Well, well! No, you won't! I just want to pick you up! Answer a question for me. Do you honestly well, think he's going to go to nursery and have a good day there today? Huh? Let's just get in a cab and take him home, OK? Come on, just walk for me. Come on. Stand up. Captain. Come on. Ow, you just kicked me right in the face. Oh, camera, get off! For goodness sake! You're not going to be good. No, you're not, camera. Yeah, we I'm sorry. I'm being upset. Huh? Of course you're upset. That trip to the nursery was ridiculous and actually very frightening. Nikki just needs to get herself together. Shocked by Nikki's lack of authority, Super Nanny asks Chris what he thinks lies at the root of the problem. We did have another son, Josh, who died at 11 months old from cot death. Um, Cameron Sorry. at the time would have been coming up to two and a half. It's affected Nikki a lot more than it's affected me because she was the one that had to walk in and, and find him. A conversation with Nikki's friend gives Super Nanny more insight. Since Josh died, the behaviour with Cameron did go downhill a little bit. And then, like, you used to say, oh, no, it's because he's missing his brother. You used to use that as an excuse all the time. How much of an impact has this made on you as a woman? Do you feel your confidence has been knocked sideways? I just think that I didn't do enough for Josh. I have to do all this much more for Cameron. And... I just feel like I failed as a mum. <laughs> because he died and I didn't do anything about it. <laughs> now I feel like I'm not in control of him either. And I was scared something might happen to him too. I'm really sorry, huh? I'm really sorry. There's no discipline in the house. I need you no. to sit down for a minute. No. 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 There's no order. Yeah.